Hi there and welcome back. It's Tanya from Tatty Treasures. Hello there. Oh, just sitting down. I just thought I need to clean my glasses. So if you're new, then welcome aboard. It's nice to have you here. If you're a returning subscriber, then it's always nice to, to have you back. Don't forget to say hello in the comments. Let me know what you're up to. What are you making? Have you got time to make anything? Right. All the links will be in the description. Um, I've just finished off a, a blue project, which was um, called the Faded uh, Blue journals and I'm getting prepared for um, new journals. Am I making journals? I'm making a journal um, and it's going to be a three signature um, Amazon packaging um, journal and then oh I'm going to be doing I think an envelope journal after that. And I do do blue quite regular, so I like to have uh, some blue embellishments and things. Um, so I've got them handy. Um, why can't this just be a normal size? Well, it is. It's three quarters of an inch. Let's um, measure this. Let's say three quarters of an inch. Um, so yes, I'm making some journals and um, I wanted some embellishments. Do you think I can do this into three then? One, two, three, yeah. Um, in fact, I'm going to stick it down first and cut round it. So I looked in my playlist and um, picked some of my favourite embellishments. And by favourite, I don't mean, you know, like bestest, bestest. What I mean is the ones that I actually use. The ones that are great for, for grabbing um, and are usable. Because, I mean, sometimes we just make things for fun and they're not actually <laughs> that usable. Um, so these are things that, that are quite uh, usable. And these I really love. So I'm putting this on two double-sided tape and um, I've not done it very well. So let me concentrate. <laughs> so I'm just going to layer this first layer onto here like so. Just gone off just a little bit there. So these are great for having in your stash and then you can just peel off the back and stick it down. If you don't have double-sided stick tape, you can obviously just do this on, on paper um, and, um, <coughs> and then stick them down um, when, when you need them. But I'd got three or four rolls of double-sided sticky tape because it was something that I thought... I would need when I, <laughs> I started junk journaling and it's something that I never used um, so when I first did this embellishment it was kind of let's get this tape used used up so I shall keep making them until they're used up I wouldn't go out and buy any more just to do it I would do it myself on uh, strips of paper it's only for the fact that I've that I've got it. So I'm just rubbing my fingers across there because I don't want it to, you know, I want to take the rest of the stick um, kind of off and that's stuck down lovely. So let's do another strip. I'll just do them as long as me, me board and then it just makes it, makes it a bit easier. I don't think there'll be enough for to do three. I think I'll be just left with um, a thin bit here. So, 
so hard cutting it straight. And this one, I'm not, I'm not going to cut it off either side. Um, I'm just going to try, <laughs> try and lay it in in the middle. So that's right there, and there. So that's that one. I do want to use this at what what I've cut? So let's um. Two, one. Sorry if I just not not the camera. That's one. Yep. And two. That's that. So the first one I'll do that. Well, I suppose I could overlap it on both of them, couldn't I? Really. As long as I don't overlap the first one uh, too much. Yeah. That's fine. And when I make these, I do some that are going to be uh, for vertical and some that are going to be for horizontal. Now, if you wanted, you could keep them on the long one um, and then cut them off as, as wanted. Um, I'm not going to do that with these ones. I do do that with uh, some things. But um, the way that I'm decorating them is kind of... Um, there's going to be something in the middle of them. So obviously <coughs> I want to know how long um, I'm doing them. But I will do them different lengths. Sorry if I was off, off camera there. I was just um, trying to cut. <laughs> can be a bit <coughs> quite difficult really you know cutting in front of you um you know quite quite away in front of yourself I've dropped a lot there <coughs> so let's try and get this on so I did another video yesterday with some more of my favorite embellishments and I think there'll be another two videos after this and that should take us to the beginning <coughs> of February. Um, and then I'll be starting the the new blue project, new Tim Holtz project, a new bird. Um, well, I'm doing a bird project. It's not a new, well, it is a new one, but it's not a continuation of, um, as I say, I've just finished the Tim Holtz file folder and um, the blue journals. Right, so the next uh, layer is going to be um, this lovely lace. Oh, that's so pretty. Um, and I'm just going to rub some Fabri-Tac over oh, the middle uh, part. So I think I'd be best doing like so. And... Should have had this upside down. Still didn't look if I'd got another bottle. It's only to the right, right of me behind. Uh, yeah, like to behind me. But I keep forgetting to look, look over. And every time I think about it, I'm in the middle of doing something, which isn't the greatest time to be looking uh, behind you. Yeah, I do have another bottle. Right, that solves solves that then, doesn't it? Right, so let's get this, yep, stuck down. Like so. And I use these a lot on pockets um, and they're nice for, for page uh, decoration down the side of a, a page. Right, that's fine. Okay, let's just leave that to, to dry. Next, I think I've enough to probably get some, some more lace, lace out. I don't think I, 
are quite cut enough. Oh, we're going that way, aren't we? Let's move that over because that could that could be a disaster. <laughs> Yep. Oh, you can hardly see the um, thingy on that one. Oh well. A, a thinner one out in fact <clears throat> I'm going to take that off because I'm going to need to get some more out anyway um, let's do this one on this one because this is the one that's um, wider hopefully there'll still be enough glue on the lace which I think there is so let's cut that off like so. I'm just going to leave that to, to dry and I'm going to get out uh, a thinner one because it's a shame to uh, cover, cover that first layer. I want to put that out, needle out, pin out. It's a bit dangerous. Oh, that's thin. Oh, that one, I think that would lay nicer. Right, let's do these two. I think I'm going to pause while, while I glue these two. Because, uh, <coughs> again, I've got, got a few projects that... That I want to get get done today. Okay, that's done. So the next layer, I'm going to put the fluffy wool on, and because it's <coughs> such a pain to get stuck down, I'm now going to cut these um, down. So the ones that I have horizontally, vertical, horizontal, lengthways. For, I, I just can't think which is horizontal and vertical at this this minute in time. Wow, it's funny when things just pop out of your head. Um, so when I have them that way, it's normally for across pockets. So I'm going to cut some off at five inch because I think that's um, kind of plenty. If you think, you know, your pages, I don't know, what is it, six inch? ish so i will leave that one at six inch because it'd be silly um cutting it off so we'll have some that way um and i think these thin ones are, are better for that as well so i'm going to do another at six for long pockets Four. Four. And whatever. Whatever that is. So they're going to be that way. Horizontal. Now these I would probably have lengthways. So if you think um, height wise you normally have about eight inches. Um, well I don't want these for page edges but i might have them for like flip out edges and um tall pockets so i'm thinking if i go at seven and then whatever whatever we're left with so seven <coughs> one at six 
and that one's fine. So that's those. I don't think I've got enough um, embellishments out to, uh, to do them and I think some of them might be too too big. So let's do the um, side on ones first. So they're going to have to be side on. That needs to be side on. That needs to be side on. So that's five. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So let's do the the um stuff. This. So I'm thinking if I cut it off ready. They're all about the same size, I'm going to say it doesn't, doesn't matter. One, two, three. And I'll do three with, three without. Yeah. So I'm going to do it that way. Yep. I must clean this up because it's proper really oh, I'm doing it now aren't I? I must clean it up and then I'll start doing it with my fingers um yeah it's that gunked up that when I'm trying to undo it I'm taking the actual uh whole lid off instead of instead of the cap so I'm doing it quite across the top Leave that one a minute. There's one more in the middle. Best to get quite a bit, not quite a bit, but a bit of a blob on either side to, to catch it. Um, and then the middle kind of sorts itself out. I normally have to go in again um, with the art glitter tip and just just catch them. If you was doing them on paper, I'd, I don't know if you could perhaps um, go across them with your um, sewing machine. Hmm. Especially that one, it's got quite a thick um, main body to it. So this is this one. Let's pick the most attractive to not um, have wool. This one's just going to go from there to there. <laughs> Glue and fluffy wool is a nightmare. <laughs> My fingers will be absolutely covered. I really like doing it with the fluffy wool. I don't know why. I think every time I've done these, I've done them with the different coloured uh, fluffy wools. I think I've done seam binding uh, across it, like crinkle seam binding. You could obviously put a piece of ribbon uh, down there. That's that. So that's those. Let's um, have a look what we're going to put where. So, I've inked all these ready. Oh, that's pretty. And that's that. So you could put something else uh, behind it to, to frame these, but um, I don't feel the, the need. I'm just going to put um, a runner glue 
across the middle and then just try and central it up as, as best I can. And then obviously if your pocket's smaller you can cut it <coughs> cut it down uh, to what, what you need and if your pocket's bigger obviously you can just um, you know half it up that you've got an equal <coughs> blank space each side that was a really strange, strange way to um, explain that but um, yeah I'm sure you know what I mean I haven't got any plain pockets to to show you And the great thing is it uses all these little little bits up. Um, I'm nearly out of blue embellishments, which is good. Because uh, then when I'm doing um, my blue things, I've got plenty of actual made up things instead of it just being, you know, kit um, embellishments. So that's that's those ones. Lovely. Um let's have a look at these two. I might have to have a route <coughs> route round to find some more um bits and bits and bobs. I'm gonna pop that on there, even though I do feel like it needs uh something something else um i haven't i need to cut some more butterflies out but um yeah probably a little butterfly would be nice just just on there so that's that one and i'm thinking i like that on there it's not too big it's not is that one bigger no yeah i'm gonna do it so yeah, I am going to have to find some more um, embellishment bits. So that can go there. Lovely. Now I've got, got these out, so I didn't know if to put... Oh, that would be pretty. Just maybe two to each side. Not on all of them. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, I'm out this one. I don't want to put it on, on all of them. Ooh. No, I don't want it in the middle. I don't like it in the middle for some reason. Right, I think that's the only one that I'm going to put put it on. that and that's that right I'm going to pause while I find some um, more um, bits and bobs for for these I really want to be might do some with um, stamps hmm I bet you a couple of them I could Oh, look at that. Oh, I love that. I might do one of them just like that. Let's um, cut that off there. Yeah, that's pretty. And these aren't that thick. I mean, you won't want to put put them on everything but um yeah they're not not that thick so i'll move these out, out of the way i'm going to call those finished so got six seven eight they look like little watches don't they um and then we need one two three 
I mean, I could plant some of this as a... <coughs> yeah, I'm going to put that on, on there. Oh, so I only really want four, four things. I don't think those round ones are, are right for them. I don't know. I still need two. So I'm still going to pause. I'll see you in a tick. So I found a few more bits. So I'm going to get this down uh, first. But yeah, I'm not, not printing anything else off, you know, for, for blues. I want to get everything used because I should imagine after I've <coughs> I've done the, the three blue projects I probably won't won't do blue for for a while again. <laughs> Twist that oh that's lovely. Yeah I like that. So that's that one. <laughs> okay, right, sticky fingers. Let's um, do this one because this one's been inked. I'm going to have to ink the rest. I think I'm going to use this darker side. Let's try and get in the middle. So I do have a um, embellishment playlist and I've got one just for clusters and snippets as well. And then I think I've got one like for dangles and, and something else. So I've got quite a few embellishment videos. <laughs> Right, that'll go here. So yeah, when I was thinking about embellishments to make, um, I couldn't really think of any. There was just, you know, variations of of kind of what, what I've already done. So that's why I thought I'll I'll choose um some of some of the ones that I've found uh, the most the most useful. And the ones that you can normally, you know, they'll just go anywhere as long as they they match obviously or not match depending on what your your taste is i'm not going to put any fluffy wool on this one And I've tried to, um, you know, like this wool, I'd got this piece cut and it was like, I'm going to use up all the bits that are already started and cut up and, and stuff, stuff like that. To, cause, um, <clears throat> when I got to the end of the blue and, you know, putting the bits of material and whatever away, um, I don't want to be putting away uh, that much. a lot of this blue stuff now apart from the kits that I've printed out but a lot of the stuff that I'm using <coughs> I've had you know for a year or two so it's like you know the next time I do blues it'll be nice to have some fresh uh, things so that's that one I didn't feel that I wanted the the blue fluff on there and I don't think I do on on this gentleman either but we shall we shall have a look. No. I'm going to put that over there for next um, project. I 
hopefully has stopped barking. Right, I'm going to, I've just ripped that piece of, um, I don't know if it's a, a linen or um, like calico, um, and I've just got this bit of lace which was off a collar. So I'm thinking about putting that there. And then sticking that on to there, like so, and then I can just cut that off a little bit, like so, and then pop that on there. So that's project uh, one sorted. I'm going to pause my eye the stuff out for project two and remember what it is and what, what I'm doing. So that's that. There we go. So Oh, I know what I can do. I've got this off cut um, of, of lace and I found this in my stash and I thought, oh, I can use that. And then I thought this would be a perfect uh, pocket. So I'm going to stick this on. And this was like the end piece of the lace and it's uh, like sewn together this, this bit. So there's two layers of it. So I thought that'll glue nicely onto there and then I've just got a bit of uh, hessian bit of that and a book plate and I was just going to put, put that on there um, I've got two brads so I'm going to put those on I'm just going to stab through there yep Like so, I look on all the way through. These are the little screw brads. They're not the Tim Holtz ones. They're a, um, a cheaper version. They are on my Amazon um, shop link, which is an affiliate link, which means um, I do um, a small commission if you purchase. Can you see that other brad? If you purchase through um, my my link, either the item or if you go on to search something else from my link. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> I bet it's in full, full view. Hmm. Right, I'm going to pause. Okay, so what I did there was a farmer brad. <laughs> it was on the floor. And um, I then stuck it onto some cream card because I don't want a floppy uh, pocket. And I left a bit at each side to make a gusset. So now this is, you know, quite a decent uh, size pocket. And that all came from, you know, this bit of... Um, end of the lace and, <laughs> and this thing which i think I, I got in um some some happy mail so um yeah it was nice nice to use that up so i'm just inking inking around it again i'll probably put a butterfly on but um i do need to get some butterflies fussy cutted out cut fussy cut out so that's that's that not embellishment uh, but I've used embellishments so we've got a pocket right I'm gonna pause and uh, get ready for um, the next uh, part of the video and before I do so shall we um, light the candle I'm getting a little bit rubbish with it but at the moment I seem to be having that much um, on my desk because I'm at the end of projects and the start of projects and all the rest of it. But, um, I just don't seem to 
have the have the room um to have it have it lit so is that in yeah that's in uh, thing right i can put those away those go over there i still need the scissors i don't need that so it's january the 28th when you're seeing this video it is indeed foolish to be unhappy now because you may be unhappy sometime in the future i like that and i think you know that is very very true and especially you know sometimes i just wake up and i just feel a little bit unhappy and um and you know there's no real reason for it obviously there's you know stuff going um you know still coping with uh the loss of my mum and they, there's always something to make you unhappy isn't they but um there's nothing specific that day and in, in yeah i think you know we we can dwell on it a, a bit a bit too much um things um so yes um i like that one it's um makes you think that uh yes i need to to brighten up up my mood so that's those i'm really happy uh with those and we made loads and i've nearly finished uh that roll of double-sided tape i think that's the last one i've got i've got two rolls of that really thin uh st stuff which i do use occasionally so that's those and we've got a pocket so i shall see you in a tick now i suppose this next one is very similar to to the one what we've just done and the reason behind it is these bits are the last bits i've got left of, of these uh laces and, and ribbon so you know the they're not that long you i'm not going to be able to do a great deal with them um so i thought that i would do um the same the same kind of thing and these will be again uh you know for pockets or page decoration so it is literally using um some scraps what what i've got left over just little bits uh, to make make something what's what's usable so i'm going to use that ribbon on those two so that's something for those i'm going to have that one that way i might have that one that way as well i like that so let's just put that there a minute i've got this um velvet which i might have um, across here like so let's um, use this side because that's not so so crumpled so that's <coughs> that and that bit can go in for the next uh, project so that's that what else have I got I've got this I think I would have that way. Hmm, I need some more stuff, really. Got another bit of ribbon that can go over there in the next one. So, you know, when you sometimes think something in your head, uh, <laughs> and then when it comes to it, you're like, hmm, and now what? So, that's what I was going to put on that one like so it's not double yeah i thought it was a bit thick because this one's a lot thinner than than the one that i've just just used so that's that one that's that one and that's that one i'll pop that into the thing for the next uh project so I'm fine with those, um, that's going to be cut in half and I think I'm going to decorate it with 
well i've got some uh beads now these aren't flat backed i bought these by mistake so i'm wanting to try and use these up um i'm going to try to glue them but if they don't glue properly i think i might just put the odd stitch in you know just to hold a hand stitch just to um hold them them in place so that's for that one and i've not bought any more flat back pearls because i thought if i did all i'm going to do is use them and not not get these uh used used up so that's them i just don't know what i'm going to do with that or oh. this and i've got a few of those so I don't quite think they fit in with what we're doing. And I don't think that does. So that <laughs> that sorts that problem out. Um, I don't know what I want on, on these. I don't think. something like that I don't think it needs that one on um I'm liking that. Let's just take three of those off. There. And there. I think it needs something, something else, but um, that's better than than it was um, and then I want something for this now I have got that bit of thingy so if I do that I want to cut this in half so I'm thinking this will be a uh, edge of page decoration so that's those two. <coughs> I'm going to cut this one in half. Like so. I'm going to glue off screen because obviously, you know, I've just done very, very similar. Um, and like I say, it was me going through, you know, all my pots and bags and, and things to see what I'd still got left to use and just thinking of a, a quick, easy um, way to to get them used up. Yep. So yeah. And then I do need probably something else to, to decorate them. Um, after i think they'll be fine and they'll be fine that's going to need something i don't know the more i look at this the more um i'm really liking it what about what about <laughs> what about some um brown well it's tea stained over the top that's um Yeah, I like that. I'm just gonna cut that down slightly. I feel 
like little flags, aren't they? Kind of banner type things. Yeah, I still feel like I need a picture or something, but I just haven't got anything anything to hand. Um, so I'll be back when I've glued and hopefully, hopefully I'll have had a think about it. See you in a tick. Okay, so I've stuck all those down and I think they look lovely. Um, so I'm not going to add anything else on them. They definitely don't need anything and I don't think they do. Um, I think <coughs> when I use those, um, I'll put something on them. I would like to put some buttons on, but I do need to sit and have a day of just sewing uh, buttons because I do like to see <coughs> um, you know the thread uh, through them rather than just um, just sticking a button down I think these have stuck stuck down pretty well as well so I'm going to do the next video uh, tomorrow because um, yeah I've been been a bit longer but I mean we've made two four six eight Nine, oh dear, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 embellishments and a parquet in a partridge tree. No, that didn't really, really go, did it? So yeah, I think uh, for one video uh, we've done, we've done plenty. Um, so I'm really uh, chuffed and they will go in, well I don't know if they'll fit, um, the, that's the embellishments I've got uh, so far. So yeah, I'm going to need a, another box, um, but I'm boxless. I've used every box that, that I own at the minute. Uh, and then all of a sudden they'll, <laughs> they'll all be empty. <laughs> it's uh, the way it goes, the way I move, um, you know, things things around as I'm uh, working on them and stuff. So that is it for today. I hope you've enjoyed that and I hope it's, you know, sparked a little bit of uh, something, something off. And like I say, the majority of these was, you know, bits uh, left over and stuff like that. And um, yeah, I think we've got some some nice nice pieces. So I'm going, and I shall see you tomorrow, and we'll do uh, the next project. Don't know what day it is tomorrow. I'm filming in in front. I'm trying to get to the end of January so I can uh, sort my head out ready for February because. Uh, I will be going uh, back to work so I'm really keen on you know staying two weeks in front uh, with my filming um, till I get back into back into routine so that's it I'm going see you later bye